in the United States, together with some Arab countries, trying to create division among the Muslims by playing up the sectarian differences. They're trying to create conflicts between Shias and Sunnis. They're trying to unite the Sunni countries to oppose Iran and to support the United States in its threats to attack Iran. And there are certain ulamas who are going around preaching hatred between Sunnis and uh, Shias. In fact, in Malaysia, Indonesia, it was unheard of like two, three years ago. But today there are uh, television stations who are carrying programs, demonizing the Shias and trying to show that they are not part of the Ummah, despite the fact that uh, there is a consensus among ulamas in the world, as recorded in the Amman Declaration, that the Shias are part of the Muslim Ummah. It's one of the schools, one of the theological schools of, uh, of Islam. But despite this, I mean, television stations, magazines are publishing articles trying to create hatred between Shias and Sunnis. And this is where I think Iran has to play an important role. It has to engage uh, Muslims, Sunni Muslims, Sunni Muslim leaders, Sunni Muslim governments, and try to work up a strategy to curb this type of wild propaganda that is going on. Because only through unity can Muslims redeem their honor, defeat the designs of our imperialist enemies defeat Zionism. So long as we are divided, they will always rule over us. And I appeal to Iran, its leaders and the people to play a strong role in trying to create this unity among Muslims at individual and personal levels and at the level of official and government levels. This is very important for the future. I wish on this great anniversary I would like to convey my congratulations and my wishes and my pray for the success of the Iranian revolution and pray for the success of the Iranian government and its people. Thank you.